keeping on that theme, the real estate market is finally starting to pick back up in New York. Is it time to consider a move? And how do you find the best deals for your family, for what you and your family need? Real estate attorney Adam Lightman Bailey is author of Finding the Uncommon Deal. There it is. He joins us now with some answers. Good morning. Congratulations. The book is number one on the best seller list of the New, New York, York Times. Times yeah. Congrats. Very excited. So you obviously know what you're talking about, so let's get right to it. Your prediction on when the markets will rebound. I have no idea when it's going to rebound. I don't have a crystal ball. I do know it's going to be years. I know at least three years. Now, why do you say at least three well, years? Well, number one, the more inventory that's out there, the lower the sales prices are going to be. So we know that most of the foreclosures have not gone through the pipes yet. They're stuck. The robo-signing crisis, number one. The banks are trying to make deals. They have not come onto the market. You're going to have a flood of foreclosures in the market, number one. Number two, loans are now more expensive. Right. The banks have tightened, also have tightened restrictions on lending. It's harder to get a loan. A loan's more expensive. In October, it's it's harder to get a pricier loan instead of giving a jumbo loan for six hundred mm -hmm. seven hundred twenty nine thousand it's going to be six hundred fifty thousand okay. all those things make it a tough market guaranteeing that prices will keep coming down but you were also saying that never before in the history of modern real estate which i think is from nineteen forty five until now have so many great deals been on the market this is the greatest time to buy ever in the history there's been there's i love been, to hear it's that exciting and it's incredible <laughs> deals we've never seen these before but you have to work hard. You have to become an expert in the market, and you have to be diligent and work really hard to find the best deal. So by becoming an expert and finding the best deal, and more, most importantly, you have to buy long term. If you're buying long term, it's a great time to buy. If you're buying to use it as a casino or an ATM machine and cash out quickly, oh, you're going to fail. Right. But if you're buying long term, this is the best time to buy. Interest rates are low. The deals are great. People have to sell. Foreclosures are on the market. So what about renting for people who cannot afford to buy right now? Or even if they can't afford to buy, how does renting an apartment or a house come into play? Well, I think renting is a great thing because you, no one should ever buy a home that they can't afford. It's not worth staying up all night if you can't afford to pay a mortgage. Yeah. So renting is a great opportunity in one sense, to save your money until you can afford to buy a home. At the same time, why help a landlord get rich? Yeah, you get, exactly. Your struggle, I right. Listen, I rent, and I hate writing that check every month. Imagine but writing it to yourself. I can't to buy right now. I know. It would be great. Right. It would be but, great to buy. But um, So you're saying the right time to buy, obviously, you've got to have enough money to put it down. You don't want to live above your means and try to buy something when you're not ready. And the lenders are helping you with that, unfortunately, is that they're not giving everyone a loan anymore. Mm -hmm. It's harder to get a loan. So when you've saved your money, you feel comfortable, then, then buy so you don't have to spend, throw money down a toilet by giving it to a landlord. Okay, your book is called Finding the Uncommon Deal. So very quickly, what steps can people take to get that deal, to best educate themselves and find a real gem and make the most of it. That's the key, education. You need to go within a short period of time into your market where you want to live and know it, be an expert on it. See at least 10 to 20 places within a short period of time and then you will know when you walk into that dream home, that's the deal because you become an expert. Then, then the negotiation starts. How do you get the seller to the lowest price? Yeah. Yeah, right. so how do you do it? <laughs> and, the way, and the way to do that is say to them, what's your lowest price? What is the number that I can to get to buy it? And then you've got to be willing to walk away, right? Walk away. You <laughs> want to walk away for some time. You, you want to be able to say, here's my card. Uh, this is the price I'll pay. I know this is what it's worth. The market keeps going down. You might as well accept me. All right. Boy, I'm sorry you don't have any energy. <laughs> this well, is I think you guys have given it to me. I appreciate that. All right. Adam right. Lightman. Normally Bailey. I'm shy. Right. Oh, yeah, right. right. Thank you so much for coming in. You can find Finding the Uncommon Deal in stores right now. Adam, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right.